YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another mystery box video. So, really excited to see what's in this box. This is another one of the Toy USA $50 damage mystery boxes from them. But doing all right so far with them. Definitely got some pretty cool things to add to the collection. So hopefully this box is no different and we can get a grail to add as well. So let's open this box up and see what we got. Here we go. All right guys, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down as well so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So if you have not been already watching this series of boxes from Toy USA, they were $50 boxes. Um, they did guarantee the value at the $50 price point, And they did say there would be four pops in here uh, with a chance to get a grail. Now, I think this line of boxes had maybe 200 of them, so um, the chances of getting a Grail weren't extremely high, um, although I did get one of them, so hopefully I can get extremely lucky, lucky hit the lottery twice with Toy USA and get another Grail. So they still have some pretty cool things in their pictures. Um, I haven't got any of them yet, um, so we'll see what happens and see if I get one of these Grails. So there is one protector and uh, three unprotected pops. So, do them one by one and see if we get lucky. First pop. Oh, okay, so this is pretty cool. This is uh, the Agresuko Date Night Pop. Um, so I guess it's one of those Sanrio characters. I don't know much about this one. I do believe he has a show on um, Netflix, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's a Netflix show for this guy. Um, haven't seen it, you know, if anybody knows about that, let me know if it's any good. Um, I do like some of the Sanrio characters, definitely uh, like some of the My Hero Academia ones they did a mashup with as well. I know a lot of people weren't feeling them, but I did like some of them. Um, but this one's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll keep it just because I like just the regular ones. I'd much rather have that one right there. Once they have starting having different outfits and everything like that, kind of lose me just because I don't really care enough to, you know, have them in a date night outfit. Um, but nonetheless, you know, cool pop does something you're into. As you can see, this is a Target exclusive. You have the Target exclusive sticker right down there. But let's see what this guy is going for. All right, so this is a 2019 pop. I thought it said 2015 on the box somewhere, but it is from 2019, and it's going for $6. So not very expensive. I don't know if anybody else cares about the date, the date night shirt either. Um, but yeah, there you go. The Agretsuko date night pop is the first pop from this box. Alright guys, hopefully it gets better. It only can go better from here at $6 pop. Um, hopefully that means this is uh, front loaded with some cheaper pops and the top pop is uh, a grail. So we'll see. Number two. Okay, so I don't think this one's too expensive either. So maybe that's a good sign of things to come. This is a Spider-Man pop from Marvel. Uh, so this is a gamer for, Gamers First one because it does say it's part of the video game line right there instead of the superhero ones. Um, yeah, I never played Game Reverse. I think, I guess it's a Marvel game. I have no idea. I am not really a gamer. Um, yeah, this uh, it's a cool one though. You know, the, I always like when Funko does the action poses for the characters. He got his little uh, web, um, web action going there with his hands. Looks like he's swinging and shooting the web. So that's always a cool thing. Spider Man's probably one of my favorite, um, you know, superheroes outside of like the X Men. But yeah, uh, Spider-Man's pretty cool. Not much more I can really tell you about them. There's so many different Spider-Mans as well. Um, Spider-Man and Deadpool and Batman. I think they make more pops of them than anybody else. Um, but that's because they're such popular characters. You can't go wrong with that. So um, you go where the money is. And uh, this one's coming in at 14 bucks. So this was actually a GameStop exclusive. Um, I guess the first to market one. Um, but I think this one ended up being common as well. So. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about that term before, sometimes the like the Ultraman ones that came out last year with Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble got them first, um, but eventually there'll be a common uh, pops that every retailer will get their hands on. So this one looks like it's one of the common ones. Um, but yeah, there you go. Spider-Man is the second pop from the box. All right, let's see. Here is the final unprotected pop. Hopefully this one's good. We have $20 so far at a $50 guaranteed box. We have 30 more to go and the two pops to do so. So here we go. Number three. Oh, okay. So that's not a bad one. 
Um, this is the Stanley Astronaut from New York City Comic Con. I think that's actually the convention sticker. Um, no, it's not. This is the shared sticker. I had to look back there and see what the um, convention sticker looked like. But I do have this pop already. I got it from, I think this is a Walmart exclusive. And uh, it ended up coming up in, coming in the mail damaged. I let them know and they ended up letting me keep the pop for free. So can't beat that. Um, you know, this one's pretty cool. Can't go wrong uh, with having Stan Lee. Um, RIP to the great Stan Lee. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which is a really good movie. I do like how Funko did end up making a whole lot of these Stan Lees and his different cameos from the movies. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, definitely lets you capitalize on having some more Stan Lees in your collection without making up things for him to be in. Um, definitely I think it's a cool idea and I do remember the scene where he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, if you guys haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet, um, it's really a good movie. I was kind of surprised. Um, of how good a movie it was just because when it first was announced I had never even heard of it I know a lot of people um, that don't follow comic books pretty heavily didn't know anything about Guardians of the Galaxy and it ended up being one of the best um, Marvel franchises so far to me so um, this guy on pop or on a Funko app is showing up as a little bit higher than I think he is I'm gonna check on pop price guy real fast just to make sure all right guys so my su suspicions were true um, on the Funko app it's showing us $27 because it has the convention sticker. Um, but with this share sticker on this one, he's actually going for 17 bucks. So not bad, um, you know, it's a $10 difference for sticker, which is, you know, always still boggles my mind how much people care about the different sticker. Um, but nonetheless, it's a collector's piece and people want to collect what they collect. So I don't, I don't blame them. So there you go. That is the third and final unprotected pop is this Stanley Astronaut from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Alright guys, so we have, what, 17, I forget what Spider-Man was, no, it was 20, it's 20 dollars, 17, so we have 37 dollars. So, we have to get at least a 13 dollar pop with this protective one, which I'm pretty sure we'll do, but let's see if we'll get something even more valuable than a 13 dollar pop. Um, hopefully it's one of those top grails, um, like I said before, they've been doing these uh, boxes where they put a mystery box in the mystery box we got the top grail so you have to open it to another level to see what you got um, I did get one already so we'll see if we get lucky again and pull another top grail or hopefully we pull something else cool that fits into the collection so here's the final pop number four bruh <laughs> this is not the top grail oh man this is Hanuman um, I think I don't know if I have this one um, I know a lot of people have been frustrated recently with getting the Asia exclusive pops. Um, I do like them. I have a whole collection of them. Um, I haven't found a way to display them yet just because I'm running out of room in here. Um, but I don't think I have this one. I have the purple one. I think I might have the black one. But I don't think I have the light blue one. Um, I'm not really looking to try to complete the Hanuman set. Uh, one was fine with me. Um, I'd much rather have a, another Asia exclusive character than, than him. Still been done figure out who he is or what he's all about. Um, he's, they're cool looking. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but just didn't need that many Hanumans in the collection. Um, it's actually saying insufficient data in the Funko app, just because I don't think too many of these sell. But let me check on Pop Price Guide and see if I can find a value for you guys. All right, guys. So this guy is coming in on Pop Price Guide for 19 bucks. So it's only two dollars more valuable than the uh, most valuable common, which. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure we got to our... Did we get to our guarantee value? Yeah, I guess we did get to our guarantee value, but not too much over. Um, you know, that's what happens sometimes. It's a cool looking pop. Um, I think I might have to get rid of one of the Hanumans. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just keep all the, the Asia exclusives and then be the only person ever to collect all the Asia exclusives um, that I've seen at least. But we'll see. Um, this is the final pop, $19 blue Hanuman. There's so many more of these. I think there's like seven colors or something like that of Hanuman um so yeah they made a whole lot I think all the age exclusive characters have a lot of different colors the giant lady um Aswang Hanuman they all got a whole lot of different colors so it's hard to keep up with but I think they all look pretty cool there you go final pop Hanuman from age exclusive legendary creatures and myths yeah <laughs> all right guys um yeah I don't know about this box let me know what your thoughts are though in the comment section down below Here's a total value so you can see how I did. I don't know what my favorite one is. Hanuman's cool, Stan Lee's a duplicate. 
Um, date night, Agresuko, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you've not already. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the support. And until next time, see you later.